my dear students of grade 10 welcome back to my english class once again it's rk english youtube channel students today we will discuss unit number 14 travel and adventure in unit number 14 students uh, we will discuss its reading first text and uh, before reading first uh, we have some pictures here four pictures are here students so uh, let's discuss about this picture first Uh, which of the following which of these places would you like to travel if you got an opportunity discuss in group so students here are some pictures given and you have to choose one of the place one of the picture and which place uh, would you like to visit so students uh, you have to discuss in your group uh, students let's discuss about the picture first In the first picture, we can see a picture of Sargadwari Temple here. Very clear picture. It is a picture, students. Uh, it's uh, uh, one of the old and one of the famous uh, and ancient, uh, you know, temple and pilgrim site of Nepal. And this temple is uh, located, uh, students, uh, in uh, uh, Pyutan district of Nepal and. Uh, which is famous for its uh, religious uh, you know significance in the second picture here is uh, its uh, ogratara temple students so uh, it's a uh, uh, very famous its uh, religiously important temple of uh, hinduism and it's also rich in its uh, art and architecture so students this is the temple uh, of hinduism and which is uh, Uh, very much famous for its architectural structure and in the third picture it's uh, very clear students it's a maha bodha is the temple and uh, it's a most uh, buddhist famous temple and which is uh, located in lalitpur pattern and uh, it's uh, famous for its uh, rich historical and uh, you know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a historical background it is known for that and uh, la final one is uh, buddha nath is the temple we have uh, and uh, it's also a beautiful uh, buddhist temple and uh, uh, students uh, it's uh, considered one of the holiest place of uh, buddhist <coughs> temple and um, it holds uh, students an importance of pilgrims uh, you know and uh, meditation and uh, for uh, tibetan buddhist as well as for uh, local a uh, nepali buddhist people so it's this temple is ha it has its own uh, importance for buddhist people and the uh, students it's all about your pictures uh, that we have discussed and now we have reading one uh, before reading one we have some pre questions uh, uh, question number a uh, do you enjoy traveling and why Yes, students. Everyone wants to or love to travel. I know everyone wants to have enjoyment in their life. And uh, yes, of course, students. Uh, we all love to uh, travel because uh, you know <clears throat> traveling uh, gives us uh, opportunity and uh, gives us chance. You know, uh, you know, uh, us to learn about. Uh, different places and the different people and different culture and the different different lifestyle and various kind of you know uh, lifestyle that we come to know about and uh, students second thing uh, uh, it also you know uh, you know reduce help in reducing the stress of workload and also makes a free students from uh, boredom of you know daily life routine that's why Uh, we all love to traveling and this is the main reason behind this and the b number which is your favorite tourist place and why of course students i prefer to visit pokhara is my favorite one and as you know students one of the beautiful place of the world and uh, <clears throat> uh, it's uh, you know uh, it's uh, it's a uh, most famous uh, you know tourist destination also and uh, it's uh, you know uh, you can say gateway to trekking also beautiful waterfall and flora and fauna we can enjoy there so there are so many things uh, students about the pokhara in the text uh, here we will discuss uh, and it's all about with that uh, i finish the questions and answer and uh, 
and now move to the its text students so here is the text students so expect the unexpected is the text reading first text that we will discuss in this video and in this lesson here today uh, students so uh, expect the unexpected uh, means here it's uh, related to it refers to the life is full of uh, uh, surprise and uh, nothing is granted students uh, or uh, predictable or absolute so it's all about um, you know this means and uh, we have paragraph here we start uh, and uh, we did a classic Nepal uh, triangular trip of Kathmandu, Chitwan and Pokhara uh, students here in this text so uh, writer uh, himself uh, you know is a visitor and uh, uh, he says that uh, we had, you know, they had a classic, uh, uh, classic Nepal triangle visit where they visited Kathmandu, Chitwan, and Pokhara. So here, students, they had a triangular uh, shape visit. First, they visit, uh, they visit to Kathmandu. They started visit uh, their visit from Kathmandu, then to Chitwan, then to Pokhara, then back to. Uh, Kathmandu. It's a triangular visit and a classical triangular visit they had. And uh, I must admit that all their uh, all their own charm that every few places can achieve at the same time. Read on, you will see why I have the uh, knob to say. Uh, students, uh, in this uh, paragraph, the writer confess and writer accept that uh, each places or uh, each places mean Kathmandu, Chitwan, Pokhara. They have its own. Uh, importance and their own beauty and uh, they in a very short period of time these places students have uh, achieved you know uh, some, you know name and fame also and uh, uh, you know uh, at the same moment so uh, writer says and uh, keep on reading me and uh, you will come to know and understand why i i dare to say all about it so here we have first uh, that is the first place that uh, uh, our writer visited that is Kathmandu students so here we start it's in Kathmandu that the saying the first impression is the last impression holds true for me uh, students in Kathmandu it is a proverb like uh, it is said that uh, you know in Kathmandu uh, first uh, view or for judgment impression means judgment is the last impression and this is uh, and uh, holds true for me you know it really really suits to me and uh, it's absolutely right to me that when it is said that first impression is the last impression in Kathmandu the city is a massive nestled in a green valley surrounded by enormous uh, mountains and the city is it is very big and vast which is located in green environment and uh, surrounded by huge mountains valley students and a quick drive from the airport to the town left me with amazement at the red brick houses people smiling faces as well as roaming catrols and busy traffic yes it's like what you saw in the movie the students here in this paragraph and poet uh, and the writer is expressing his uh, journey on the way to the city road and uh, he saw a red bricks houses really amazed him and the people uh, were smiling you know some people had their smiling face and busy traffic and uh, uh, you know uh, cattle or uh, wandering of the cattle it is exactly as same as you saw in the movie on that wild thing are more sophisticated when you are actually there and uh, students so uh, it's uh, yes uh, it's exactly as same as you saw in the film but uh, uh, whereas uh, there are many advanced uh, sophisticated mean advanced students advanced thing uh, when you will be there in real so uh, you will exactly experience uh, when you will visit uh, these places and you will have the experience of all these new advanced things over there this is what poet uh, writer wants to see about these places here in this paragraph students in Kathmandu valley and uh, we and uh, they have uh, 
and the writer and the writer have experienced uh, a one kilometer long right of colors uh, doing painting of sign you know painting of sign a uh, symbol means sign also symbol and the uh, people's uh, people and uh, uh, people animal and there are some creative images on the street of wall in Kathmandu, we spotted the right of colors on the street walls, mural depicting symbol, people, animal, and creative image for up to the stretch of more than a mile. Uh, in this paragraph, students in Kathmandu, the writer, uh, writer have you know they have they have experienced uh, one kilometer long uh, rights of uh, color doing painting of sign, people, animals, and creative images on the street wall. And uh, uh, we were told that, uh, that street art is one of the rise and local international artists are setting a project in Nepal to send out messages to men made beauty. And they were also told students uh, that uh, their local artists and international arts, they are planning to set uh, their project so that uh, they can deliver this uh, men made beauty to the people of the world. So this is what uh, the writer wants to describe here about the beautiful art of these areas. Nepal was never colonized. Uh, students, as you, uh, we all know that Nepal was never be owned by any country or never be colonized. And uh, before the unification of uh, in 19, uh, sorry, 18th century, it was ruled under several kings. And uh, before the students, uh, before the you know unification of uh, uh, our country, and uh, our country was ruled by so many kings at that time. And who built their splendid Darbar Square as royal places, which all are now mo monuments drawn of the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Kathmandu Valley. So during that uh, ruling, those uh, you know ten tenure of the king, and uh, they have uh, built uh, three wonderful square. You know they have built three wonderful square Darbar uh, is uh, in the form of royal palace, and uh, which are known as. Uh, a monument of you know, you know they are known as the monument zone of unesco heritage in the valley so during that time of king ruling and they have built so many three Darbar squares and those uh, you know in the form of palace and these this palace these palaces are known as a monument zone of unesco and uh, uh, the one we visited part in Darbar square is really a uh, impressive so one of them they visited uh, there and it was uh, really amazing and wonderful so this darbar they visited uh, Patan darbar square is one of the wonderful one and amazing darbar they really like this darbar the peaceful palace courtyard courtyard contained various well preserved uh, pagodas and stone temples uh, students, uh, uh, there are various well uh, preserved temple also in the palace uh, uh, courtyard. In a courtyard, you know, in front of palace, there is a wider open area that is called a courtyard, and there is uh, uh, there are so many well preserved temple in the palace. Uh, uh, you know, uh, which are made of what uh, preserved and made of stone, and the it's it's a pagodas. I don't know exactly what is that pagodas, but uh, it is. Uh, they were made of what uh, stone and the pagodas. And our private uh, guide, Kshitesh, did a good job explaining functioning of the beautiful wood carving symbols and ornaments. So their their, uh, their guide named Kshitesh, you know, did a brilliant job uh, about telling them and making them understand about uh, uh, the beautiful wood art symbol and ornaments. Uh, with his rich knowledge, the ancient site was brought to life, and uh, because of his knowledge, uh, and um, we come to know about all the historical knowledge uh, of these areas. As we walked through, a flock of pigeons circled above the monuments, making a fascinating, the charming picture before us. So, students, as we were moving and uh, to the valley, a great, uh, you know, a great uh, group of. Uh, uh, pigeon birds were circling above the monuments and uh, they are creating a charming view in front of them and it was really amazing and uh, fascinating view during the during that moment uh, next paragraph students perhaps due to the off season the war square are not so much uh, touristy site as where the local was time away we uh, time away probably uh, probably and uh, perhaps students uh, because of the off season and uh, Darbar Square are uh, not the most uh, over visit place uh, 
at that moment and uh, we are where the local people spend their time and uh, we had the chance to interact with a group of college students who are talking a break uh, there uh, the writer they had you know uh, we are the uh, they had a chance students uh, to talk with a group of uh, local students uh, uh, who are taking uh, who, you know who are on leave or who are taking a break uh, what they formally believe is somewhat believe was skill is more important than education in today's nepal uh, students what they believe strongly that really made the writer shocked and uh, they all believed that the students of uh, uh, the cut fund value they all believe that the skills are more valuable and more uh, most important one than the bookish knowledge uh, it means uh, uh, one must have a skillful hand rather than the bookish knowledge a uh, bookish knowledge is must uh, you know beside this uh, bookish knowledge uh, one must have also skillful hand and it really amazed and shocked you know made our writer shocked I was also struck by the fact that the Nepalese see death and everyday experience when Pashupati Nath Temple, one of the seven UNESCO World Heritage Monuments. The, another thing uh, which was uh, really amazed uh, about the fact, you know, uh, which uh, uh, by which uh, the uh, writer was really amazed about the fact that uh, the Nepali people consider the death uh, uh, everyday experience uh, in the Pashupati Nath Temple. Uh, Yes, uh, this is the place uh, I think uh, uh, which is considered as a heritage site by the uh, UNESCO World Heritage Mon Monument. This is the seventh UNESCO World Heritage Monument. The temple is a place where people bring the dead for outdoor uh, cremation, cremation on the Bagmati River. So this uh, mm, this is the place where people uh, bring their body, dead body, and uh, on the bank of Bagmati River uh, in order to you know to uh, to have that ceremony and the funeral ceremony students this is the place where they do this uh, cremation is the process of final deposition of that body you know uh, through fire and by giving them fire instead of feeling grocery uh, i found i rather calm uh, students instead of feeling uh, serious and uh, stressful and i really felt calm and relaxed over there and uh, we ran into a few family holding memorial ceremony for the deceased such as making evening offering and saving the male relatives here the dear students uh, they met uh, some deceased family person family members and uh, where um, they were making memorial ceremony such as making unique offering and culturing the males and cutting the male relative here so uh, that was the moment when the, some relative of a dead, dead uh, deceased family they were making some memorial uh, memory and ceremony uh, such as hair cutting and all. Pashpati Naj is where you encounter genius uh, sadhus dressed in colorful yellow and orange robes so with ashes and long hair and beard. It is worth taking photograph with them. Uh, students uh, here uh, in Pashupati Nath uh, is that place uh, where students uh, uh, you can meet some uh, you know unexpected and strange uh, uh, people uh, that is the sadhu uh, you know sadhu you know all of you know wearing in uh, wearing different colorful dress and uh, uh, like yellow and pink color with ashes uh, you know on their body along with uh, you know a long hair and beard so this this is the uh, this is uh, what uh, unexpected and uh, strange uh, for the writer that uh, he had to encounter and he had to meet them the sadhi sadhus. Here in the last line, students uh, writer says that uh, if you take photograph with those sadhus and uh, uh, you know uh, with those uh, uh, sadhus, uh, it won't be worthless. Uh, it would be worthful if you take photograph with those. Besides much history and culture, Kathmandu has earned its name for fantastic nightlife in Tamil and uh, active half of full of life restaurant and shop. Uh, Kathmandu students has got a name and fame for its uh, great and fantastic nightlife in Tamil. Uh, uh, except uh, you know all the culture and the history, and uh, this Tamil area students is full of life restaurant and, and shop, which is the active center of uh, people amusement. And this, uh, this, uh, the area is as uh, safe as every uh, anywhere we went in Nepal. And this area is the safest area, students, as safe we visited as uh, anywhere in Nepal. And 
we saw many local people hanging out there so there is no way that you would feel as in a tourist place at all uh, students many local people can be seen out there and uh, walking around too uh, and uh, we don't feel that we were at somewhere tourist place uh, next students it's a chitwan and the second place that the writer visited is Chitwan, Chitwan, and we will discuss here. We explored the weird white jungle in Chitwan, and uh, here students uh, they had they had you know they came to know about the uh, wild forest in Chitwan also. Here we got close to number of wildlife, including single horn, rhino, a couple of deer, wild boars, monkeys, and countless beautiful birds. So students there. In Chitwan, uh, they came to know about wild forest in Chitwan, and uh, there they had a very close view of wildlife animals uh, like a uh, single horned rhino, couple of deer, uh, wild boars, monkeys, and countless birds and beautiful birds. So, except to animals, they had a close view of birds also, and they have explored many birds there. Chitwan National Park over a vast, vast area. Students, this area and this national park is spread over a wide area. Today, it is offered dozens of jungles activities such as jeep safari, uh, canoeing, jungle walk, and uh, cycling around the village. Uh, nowadays, students, uh, national park is this park is offering the tourists and the visitors uh, uh, many jungle activities like uh, jeep, um, jeep safari, and uh, it is a uh, paddling, you know. Uh, canoeing means the paddling of a boat and jungle walk and the cycling. Uh, we are we the only uh, we were the only group that did boat ride that afternoon. What a privilege to enjoy the whole tranquil view of the lake and the surroundings. So students so there uh, they uh, they did boating around the lake and uh, in afternoon. Oh, really, it was very lucky and. Uh, you know, really, uh, they were lucky to have a, a very close view of this calm and uh, we can say uh, calm and beautiful lake over there. So students, they had a very close view of all the activities in National Park and they, were, and they, were, they, they felt very lucky that they had a very peaceful view of the lake surroundings. In short, Chitwan is a perfect place for physically active travelers to discover the undisturbed vestiges of wild species. In, in short, students, we can say this place uh, is a suitable place for the physically and uh, mentally strong tourists uh, who can who can who can do search, who can come and do search. You know, uh, the remainder and the search about the fossils of the wild species over there. And definitely students uh, uh, you know no doubt uh, there is no other place is better than this in Nepal and uh, yes uh, it's a uh, species uh, the other perfect one we know is probably in South Africa so there is another place in South Africa students uh, like uh, Chitwa National Park that is that we know and uh, we all know of course so students it's in South Africa now the final destination that is Pokhara students and uh, uh, we will talk about that Pokhara. Is there any other place, any 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 place better than Pokhara in the world? Uh, not in the my dictionary anyway. And uh, while during his journey to Pokhara, and the writer itself says that uh, in this uh, in, the, in this text, writer wants to express students uh, uh, the beauty of Pokhara, and uh, he says that is there any beautiful place like heaven than Pokhara in the world? So writer again say that so there is no uh, other place in my list yet. Located around 200 km west of Kathmandu, west of Kathmandu, Pokhara offers an entirely different picture from the populated uh, capital, clean streets, snow mountain, laid back atmosphere and adventure choices. Uh, students, uh, yes, uh, um, as uh, the writer wants to express his view, uh, view about the beautiful place of Pokhara, uh, you know, the, in the Kathmandu Valley, so uh, the Pokhara, which is so far away, 200 kilometers far away from the Kathmandu Valley, shows, you know, it's totally different from the crowded, you know, uh, it's a, uh, it shows totally different picture. 
from the highly populated capital that is Kathmandu, and uh, uh, it's uh, you know 200 kilometer far away, uh, you know far away the capital, capital and uh, located in the west region. And there, uh, the experienced students uh, neat and clean roads, no mountains, and a peaceful uh, environment over there, and uh, with the lots of adventure choices. The center of small cities dominated by the majestically beautifully Peva Lake. From here, we could get a clear view of the snow capped mountains of Annapurna Range. Yes, students. Uh, it is the center of the small city and this center of the small city students is totally completely dominated by the majestically beautiful Pewa Lake. So the Pewa Lake is uh, the most you know, dominating place uh, in Pokhara you know, where they can get clear view of snow and you know, a snow covered snow capped me the snow covered mountains over there and uh, it's of Annapurna range we can have a closer view of uh, Annapurna and snow, uh, snow covered ranges from the Pewa Lake and many lakeside hotel have rooms that you can see the ranges even from bed ask your travel consultant to arrange one so students so we can have uh, there are so many lakeside hotels uh, and hotels room from rooms so we can have a close look of these Annapurna or uh, ranges mountains and uh, to have all these experience uh, once we have to visit and we have to ask the travel consultant to to make all these arrangements over there it seems you can't escape Annapurna no matter where you go in Pokhara, but we couldn't uh, get enough. Uh, students, uh, wherever you visit in Pokhara, you can't miss and you can't ignore the most beautiful view of Annapurna range. But we couldn't get enough. But there are so many things that we have to explore then. We cannot uh, explore in one visit for that. We have to, uh, students visit so many, we have to make so many visits so that we can explore other things also. An easy walk up to a hill where the World Peace Pagoda was built at the top brought us a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sweep of the white range and the entire Pokhara. Uh, students, uh, the hill and it's uh, where the hill, uh, the World Peace, uh, you know, the hill where the World Peace Pagoda, you know. Uh, Pogoda was built and that was a hill and there a uh, world peace uh, Pogoda was built and uh, easy uphill you know uh, pedestrian way and uh, pedestrian path offers uh, you know offer them wonderful view of the white mountains arranged and the complete view of Pokhara also in addition to trekking, Pokhara is arguably the world's best paragliding venue, uh, which we don't doubt after a bold try, soaring with boards and spectacular scenery is something I will never forget. In Pokhara, students, really the most, uh, it, is, uh, it is really one of the most uh, place for uh, paragliding and uh, a paragliding site in Nepal, except uh, uh, trekking also. Uh, after experienced all these daring uh, experience and uh, daring activities, uh, uh, they, they 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 don't have any doubt about and any question about it, and uh, uh, they will not forget those memories flying with birds and uh, to have amazing view of mountains range. Uh, we spent the early morning of the last day in Pokhara at Sarangkot, I believe, known as the best place to watch the breathtaking sunrise across the Annapurna Himalay. So finally, the last day of visit and uh, uh, at last the uh, last day in the morning, they spent at uh, Sarangkot in Pokhara and uh, a beautiful place uh, which is known uh, as the best place for students uh, to have a close view and to have close look of, uh, uh, you can say it's a uh, breathtaking, you know, breathtaking sunrise uh, from there. And uh, so and uh, before they visited uh, they couldn't believe that the sunrise could be you know could be unbelievable and uh, the snow covered mountains are seen in different colors as the whole will whole the valley will wake up as sun came out slowly uh, finally students uh, the snow capped mountain were repainted purple pink into gold pink to gold and the whole valley down will work as the sun slowly came out here awake means awoke means wake up incredible means wonderful and uh, 
Last uh, in the final paragraph, students, uh, I almost cried when the departure was due. If possible, I would love to revisit in heartbeat. Nepal is by no means a place you should avoid because of media. Hoxies and I am sure the Western visitor we stumbled into on the way will see you eye to eye with us. And uh, finally, students, uh, and the writer was, uh, you know, he was about to cry on his departure and... Uh, and uh, it would be possible uh, for him if uh, he would like to revisit in his heart again. And uh, Nepal is not that country, he says again, that Nepal is not that country where a visitor and a tourist uh, you know, have to face media jokes and prank. And here is Hoxie's mean the jokes and prank, you can see students. And uh, he's sure, quite sure that all Western tourists who met him on the way, they would really see eye to eye with them. So it's all about today's lesson, students. We have discussed a uh, visit to Pokhara and uh, Chitwan and Po and uh, Kathmandu by the writer itself. And uh, it's all about today's. With that, I come to an end of today's. We will. I'll be back very soon with its exercise so in the next video. Keep watching my video. Till then, students. Goodbye. See you in the next one.